All right, happy Thursday. Check out that sun coming out. I guess it's supposed to be like between 60 and 70 degrees today. It's February 1st. That is unheard of where I come from. <laughs> Absolutely unheard of. Um, <clears throat> today was overhead press day. Believe it or not, that's probably, probably my lightest day of the week um, is overhead press, shoulders. Uh, not just lightest in weight, but lightest in like overall workout. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, workout was pretty good. Man, my hand is shaking like crazy. Uh, basically just barbell overhead press, some shoulder accessories, stuff like that. So, good workout. Um, <clears throat> so, as we're going through these like temperature changes and season changes and stuff like that, um, we definitely want to make sure our immune system is working properly. One of the ways we can do that is by uh, consuming an adequate amount of protein. As I mentioned yesterday and the day before, protein is super important. Um, it plays a role in every system in our body, including the production of white blood cells for our immune system. So when we consume an adequate amount of protein, it allows our body to effectively use our immune system to fight off sickness, um, allergies, different stuff like that. So uh, keep that in mind and track your protein. Track it in the first floor map. Get yourself an advisor to get you the right amount of protein every day. We want to shoot for one gram per goal body weight of protein every day. Um, you can get it through chicken, beef, stuff like that. Sometimes it's hard to hit a protein goal with just whole foods, which is why we use supplements like and a sustained assimilation protein or a rapid assimilation protein after your workout. Um, that's where I usually get my protein from, is from a rapid assimilation protein after my workout. Um, but my wife, she likes to use the sustained assimilation protein like level one, um, especially in the evenings right before bed. So um, if you have any questions about that, let me know, shoot me a message. But definitely going to help us keep our immune system on point if we keep an adequate amount of protein on board okay also guys as we go into today wherever our focus is that's where we're going to go kind of like when we're driving a car if we're driving a car down the road and we're looking off to the right watching a squirrel or something butterfly maybe our car is going to slowly drift that direction and we'll find ourselves going off the road, right? We need to think of that in other areas of our life too. Wherever our focus is, that's where we're going to go. So when we're focused on our goal, we're going to be heading towards our goal. But if we slightly lose focus, we start to get bored with the mundane or the, the same thing every day. We start to drift off, get distracted, stuff like that. Then our focus goes in a different direction and then it takes us that much longer to reach our goal wherever our focus is that's where we're going to go another one if we continue looking backwards guess where we're going to end up back we're going to end up back where we were okay so focus on the goal focus on the dream gosh dang my hand is shaking like crazy I did the cold plunge so I'm still warming up. Um, yeah, I love you guys. And let's get that protein in. Make something amazing happen today. Make something amazing happen for somebody else today. All right? Just stay focused on your goals. And that's where you'll end up. I love you guys. Let's rock and roll.
what's up happy sunday sunday run day just did 6.2 miles took me about 48 minutes um felt pretty good was only going to do three at first and try to discipline myself but sometimes i just can't be stopped this girl was walking the whole time yeah scored some free stuff on the beautiful way. girl what are you willing to do to get to where you want to be Good morning and happy Monday. Uh, today started week six of our strength program and started off with a heavy bench day. Um, and um, I lifted a little heavier than I thought it would, so that's pretty cool. Um, started off with a three mile run, did some intervals on the skier, and overall the workout was pretty, pretty great. Um, past few days I've kind of been stuck thinking about like why why do I get up every morning and work out why do I push myself to those limits um, and there's several reasons but the majority of it being that I strive to be better than I was the day before I strive to be a good example for my children and for my family I strive to be confident enough to protect my family um, and Like those are three of probably the biggest reasons why I do it every day. Um, and it's very important to make sure you know what you're doing, what you're bringing into your mind, what you're putting into your body on a daily basis. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, there's a whole world out there for you guys, for us, for me. We just gotta go get it. We have to do the work to go get what we want. We have to get up on those early mornings, even when we don't feel like it. We have to try to get better every day. We have to be personally excellent. We have to give to ourselves and we have to give to the world around us in order to get what we want, right? In order to chase our dreams, we can't be sitting down doing nothing. We gotta get up and take every possible step until we can't anymore, right? I love you guys. Let's have an amazing Monday. You have to love and care for yourself before you can love and care for anybody else.